everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really easy recipe for you guys today and it only requires a few ingredients, some of which you may have in your kitchen right this moment. Um, for example, you need to have some dry spaghetti, Parmesan cheese, any type of Italian seasoning or fresh thyme if you have it, butter, and grape or cherry tomatoes. So odds are good you may have some of these items right in your pantry, maybe in your fridge right at this moment. So let's get into making dinner. So this is a one pound box of pot ready spaghetti. And this is from Food Line. Guys, I was surprised when I actually seen this. I really do not remember seeing anything like this back in PA. I'm thinking there may have been, and perhaps I just never noticed it, but I just think it's kind of cool. Um, you don't have to break your spaghetti anymore. They're all broken in half now, and even. <laughs> That's just pretty cool. Just something odd that struck me. Um, as I said, never remember seeing this in uh, any supermarkets in PA. So I'm going to be cooking this following the directions. And while I have the water obviously heating up, I'm going to be working on my tomatoes. So I have this uh, small pan that fits in my toaster oven and I have it lined with foil. Now the directions for a regular oven uh, say to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil. So just remember guys, you can do this in a toaster oven. I'm going to show you how. Um, but you need a pan that obviously is small enough to fit in your toaster oven. Also, you're going to have to adjust the temperature accordingly. Um, as I said, I'll use the temperature in the video that I've adjusted to for the uh, toaster oven. But the recipe in the description box for regular oven will have the actual uh, temperature from the recipe. So here is my grape tomatoes I am going to be roasting. Uh, these ones right here, no Oreo, get down, get down, are actually these ones right here. Um, literally were just picked yesterday off of my little cherry tomato tree. So, well, not tree, plant. So, these were in my fridge for a little bit. I was saving them to do this recipe, and I wanted to use them before they go bad. So, even if they are almost ready to turn, you can still use them uh, in this recipe because you're going to be roasting them. Now, I melted four tablespoons of butter. I didn't have stick butter. So I actually just melted some soft butter. Um, butter is butter. So you pour that over tomatoes. Next, you can add a tablespoon of fresh thyme or dill if you have it. I don't have any fresh herbs at the moment. I have dill, but it's drying. Um, so I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. I love my Italian seasoning and I'm just going to shake it on over over my little tomatoes about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And I'll be uh, preheating my toaster oven to about 375 regular recipe directions say it should go in for about 425 for 35 minutes until the tomatoes burst. I'm going to be using the toaster oven so I'm going to set mine at 375 and I'm going to do about 20 minutes and I will check them. I'm pretty sure in 20 minutes they'll burst. So with the tomatoes in the oven I'm going to be making my spaghetti now. Spaghetti is in the pot. I add the whole box. Um, so I'm just going to let this cook. 
now when I'm ready to drain it, I'm going to reserve a quarter cup of the um, liquid from from cooking the spaghetti and that's going to be uh, added at the end of the recipe and you're going to see why. So once this is done cooking and I'm ready to strain it out, uh, yeah, you're going to see me reserve that quarter cup of the water from the pasta um, because I'm going to need that at the end. I'm ready to drain the spaghetti and I'm going to get my quarter cup of liquid before I drain the spaghetti. I'm setting it right over here for now. Here's the cherry grape tomatoes. They uh, are done. It took 25 minutes in the toaster oven. I even heard them popping. And once again, I did them at 375. Uh, 50 degrees less than a regular oven so now let me stream my pasta and we'll finish up this meal spaghetti is drained and now I'm going to add the tomatoes any liquid that is here in the foil on the baking sheet and the reserved liquid to the spaghetti lastly I added a half a cup of grated parmesan cheese and some salt and pepper and I'm going to mix it up and it's pretty much ready to eat but I'm going to take the foil off of this pan and I'm going to reuse the pan I'm going to be adding a couple of slices of Texas toast five cheese flavor and uh, that's going to go with the spaghetti with roasted tomatoes and I also used up like little bits of uh, greens and veggies I had in the fridge to make a little bit of salad to go with it as well. Well guys, it's time to taste test. Definitely, roasted tomatoes add something to clean spaghetti. It's a really good flavor with it. Oh yeah, definitely it gives it a, a, a bit of a different flavor, the roasted tomatoes, absolutely. Alrighty guys, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell for all so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Take care, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys all on my next one. Bye.